All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome to Battlefront 3. This is Battlefront, and this is not Battlefield. For those of you guys who like are saying all on comments on YouTube and all that, a lot of people are saying this game is like Battlefield, and I literally like Dice just copied Battlefield. I don't actually think that's the case at all. I love this game. I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I absolutely like this game because it's just so much fun and it's really refreshing, which I haven't found in a lot of games this year. In fact, for how many like two ever since Black ever since about twenty thirteen. So if you guys don't know, the Battlefront Free Beta is actually going for Xbox One, PS4 and PC at the moment until I believe the 11th of October I believe and the game is actually meant to release in I believe November or December around those months and you know that's that's the usual time for games to come out you know we've got loads of games coming out this year we've got COD you know we've got Uncharted we've got Battlefront we've got loads of new stuff and I just like this is the best part of the year, um, in my opinion, because, first of all, you got Christmas, which is the best time. Alright, second of all, you got no school, especially around the Christmas months. Um, actually, now, when I say that, I mean, actually, I get two weeks, so I can't really say that much. Um, but, yeah, and you've also got loads of these awesome games coming out, like Battlefront. And I'm going to be bringing you guys my thoughts and opinions on the beta uh, right now, as, as of uh, the 9th um, of October. And, you know, they may fix this throughout the beta. I'm not sure. At the moment, there are only two game modes allowed. And, you know, this is really fun and all, but I feel like... They could have added at least the air superiority mode or whatever it's called. And, you know, this part I actually thought, like, one hit would kill him, but I didn't actually realise. Um, but, yeah, maybe an air superiority mode. I believe they already have that. I think that would really uh, introduce the um, aircraft a lot more because... Um, as I said, X-Wings and all that, and Y-Wings, you know, they're very hard to actually find on the map. And you can see um, at the beginning, I actually had some uh, X-Wing gameplay. And it's quite hard to practice with it when it's very rare to actually get the X-Wing at all. So the Battlefront beta feels really refreshing to me. This game brings back the old memories of Battlefield 2 and Battlefield 1. If you guys don't know, I used to be a PlayStation like fanboy. I used to play PlayStation 2 and that was actually really it. Um but I played that PlayStation 2 so much and I absolutely love this game. This was like this is like where it all started with me on the PS2 games and all that. Apart from Shrek 2, or oh sorry, Shrek 3, because that was so much fun. That game, I can't believe you. If 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 you guys never played Shrek 3 on PS2, you got to get it. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. The graphics are amazing. Donkey's amazing. Shrek's amazing. How can you not play it? And speaking of graphics, man, this game did a good job with the console support and the graphics. Oh my gosh. This game, I don't know what DICE did with this game, but it looks absolutely fantastic. And this is running on Xbox One. Xbox One can't even handle 60 FPS with most games, but this is one of the games that can that it can handle with such amazing graphics and you know massive maps and all that and I'm just shocked to believe that the Xbox One PS4 can actually handle this I have actually played the game on PC and I will say third person on PC is a must you to be honest uh, there's actually first and third person and I'm gonna give you guys a tip on third person make sure you're on PC and make sure to never aim down the sights guys never this is a tip I had to learn the hard way and it has improved my game so much like I've been hitting the 30s and 40s with under 10 kills and I was anyway hitting that before but now this is a lot more consistent this game 
feels like you can just pick it up and do well with it. Like, if you guys have ever played CSGO, COD or anything like that, you know, as well as it takes practice, it's a really inconsistent game and you never know who you're going to find. But a lot of people in this game are kind of, you know, chill back and want to play Star Wars the way it's meant to be played. Not rushing in like guns blazing, throwing grenades everywhere. Well, that is actually a lie. A lot of people do throw grenades and they're really powerful in this game. But in a way, I kind of like that and I feel like it brings back the sense of Battlefield because you know I haven't really had a good Star Wars game in quite a long time and I think this redeems it. In terms of things that I don't like I don't really like the fact that to get a vehicle you have to get a little to pick up a little token on the ground and maps which is actually just Hoth at the moment and then you get to spawn into uh, that set of vehicle so it could be an 8080 or you know, an X-Wing or a Y-Wing or a TIE Bomber, whatever it is, or even a hero, you can spawn in like that. I kind of prefer the old way, where you could choose, um, but then again, I never did actually play it online. I used to play with bots, because, you know, I, d I didn't understand what online and all that was, so I just used to play with bots. But I used to feel like it was really fun, and I feel like they could, they could do a better way of... Um, improving this, not making it put on the map, but maybe let's just say um, there are obviously on maps where everyone gets a vehicle, but in terms of those sort of maps, I think maybe first of all, they should be a lot more visible, and second of all, there should be a lot more vehicles on the map. And um, yeah, I just feel like they can improve that a little bit more. I'd rather have all the vehicles spawn at base. Um, and, uh, you know, the AT-ATs, you know, you can keep them, and maybe the heroes, I feel like those sort of things balance, but the X-Wings and all that, they're not even that powerful, so, on honestly, I really feel like they should be just be put spawn, and keep spawning back as soon as someone dies in it, like Battlefield. Spawns are actually quite decent, I must say. I've only had it once or twice where I've spawned in front of an enemy or or an enemy has spawned in front of me. But to be honest, I feel like they did a good job with the spawns considering the map that you're seeing in this video is actually quite small in a ways. But they also have a little kind of beacon from Battlefield Hardline, I believe. Um, which they kind of incorporated where it kind of has like a little sensor to show where the enemies are in the direction That's actually really useful when doing uh, X-Wing gameplay and all that so I may actually show you guys some more of that I've got a lot of gameplay for you guys, but in terms of other things that I don't like um, You know the, the one only thing I really feel like that is really bugging me now is the shield. The shield is really fun. Now, don't don't get me wrong. In fact, I haven't seen many people using it, and I feel like it's. Oh, I'm gonna say overpowered, but in a way, I feel like they did it well, and I feel like they've managed to actually um, make it a bit better. But in terms of arming objectives on Hoth it is a little overpowered because basically what happens is you put that shield up for about five five ten seconds you're completely covered and obviously the enemy can shoot at you to make it go down a lot quicker but you can literally just walk into a group of enemies guarding an objective arm it and then literally you can even like get your friends to like support you you can't really run away because it's not that OP, but I still feel like they could do something with when arming objectives, because I feel like that's a bit too much. It's just a little too over the top. Now, um, one person, every once in a while it's actually fine, because not a lot of people are actually using it, I've found, but I feel like once the full game comes out, it could be a problem. But yeah, there's not really much else to say. I feel like this game 
has used its potential wisely and I feel like they've kind of like lived up to you know the reputation they've already got with Battlefield and I really feel like this is going to be a good game I'm honestly like really serious about that I don't say that about a lot of games or I'm not always truthful about that in a lot of games as I did with AW but um you know, I honestly do feel like it is. A lot of people say the replayability is really bad, but just two maps, I I find it like it's really fun. Especially look at this tie fight gameplay or whatever. Yes, I do still go down in flames, but who cares? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, subscribe. If you've got any questions or anything you've got to say about the Battlefront free beta or anything, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. And anyway, thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you later. Peace out, guys.